Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to design a vent cover on Inventor. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and leave a comment for any video requests. Thanks for watching. So we're just going to make a vent for this fan, a cover for it. So we're going to go 125 by 150, but we'll make the face of it 125. So we'll create a new drawing. We'll go 1.5 millimeter stainless steel, create. Now we'll just change our defaults. So we'll edit this. Then we'll go bend. We'll change our bend radius to 0 0.01. Save and close. Now we're gonna start a sketch. Select your plane. We're gonna go two point center rectangle. We'll go 125 by 125. Now we're going to add the face to it, apply, this will be the front of it, so we're going to add some flanges to the back of it, we'll just go 25mm in the distance, go apply, now we're going to add the top flange, we're going to go 45 degrees, I'm going to change the distance to here, so that'll bring it up. Right. So hit apply. Now we're going to go corner seam, select, select this edge here and the edge of the flange on the bottom. Now change the gap size to 0.8, apply, and the same for this side, 0.8, apply. Now I'm just going to add some more flanges. We're going to go 20 mil for this one. 20. The angle is 90. And we'll just change this to offset. We'll go 30 and 30. We'll go 0 for the bottom one. Apply. This one. Apply, and then this one, and we'll change the angle, you can go 135 or you can go by reference and select the face here, and then apply. So you can select your corner seam again, and select the two edges. Go 0.8 and then apply. Same for these ones. 0.8 and apply. That'll give you all your notches. I'm just going to right click here and go new sketch. Gonna draw some lines. So we wanted this 104, I think it was 104.8. That wasn't straight. Draw a line down the center. And we'll constrain it. 
vertical constraint. So we'll go to the center of that. And again, 104.8. Don't know why that went down there. Then the holes were 4.3 millimeter. So we'll just go circle, just go five millimeters. I'll just delete all these lines. We'll just dimension these. And then just dimension down the bottom. We'll change that to 10. So we'll go finish sketch. Now we'll come up here and we'll go cut. Select your four holes. Go cut normal. And then okay. And 